Hello and welcome to this Bitify tutorial. In this tutorial, we will show you the usage of our ValleyFrame Thunderbolt test automation software. Chapter 2 is about calibration. In this chapter we will show how to calibrate the test setup and the instruments. After we have configured the station configuration, we can start ValleyFrame. Click the Configured UT button. The main configuration panel will show up. First you can select if you want to test a device or a host. This decision is important to choose the right test scripts. Please approve the location of the test script or, if necessary, select the right path where the test scripts reside. Now select either to test in compliance mode or in expert mode. In compliance mode, all tests are done according to the Thunderbolt CTS. The test automation will provide an easy pass and fail result. On the other hand, in expert mode, the user can change most of the test parameters, for example to run margin tests. For this tutorial, we will use the expert mode after clicking OK. ValleyFrame comes up with the following window. The left side contains the test trees, while on the right side you find the test parameters. Based on your inputs for the DUT configuration, ValleyFrame configures the test tree. The first test branch contains procedures for calibration of the instruments and your setup. They need to be run prior to any tests. If you select any test, you can see the test parameters on the right side of the window. In expert mode, these parameters can be edited. You can, for example, change the voltage step size from 500 to 300 millivolts. This helps to run fine granulary test steps in this calibration. If you have changed a value, you can set it back to default by right-clicking and choosing Set to Default. First, we have to run the calibrations. Therefore, we select all calibrations and click the Start button. Confirm that the setup is as required. This will come up when running the test. If you want to prepare in advance, this connection diagram will also appear when you do a right-click on the particular test and choose Show Connection. A picture with all related instruments and connections will come up. This is the signal generator for the common mode interference. Here you find the Jaybird with the two modules M8062A and M8041A and the related scope. Once the connections are set up correctly, please click OK. The first calibrations are done at TP2 where we have no fixtures included in the setup. After clicking the Start button, ValleyFrame runs all the calibration procedures. Also there are additional calibration procedures which contain TP3. Those require a test fixture set and Thunderbolt cables, which are available from Bidify. If you want to test the 10 gig mode, a Thunderbolt cable of 2 meters length must be used. For 20 gig, a Thunderbolt cable of half meter length is required. Now click OK and ValleyFrame proceeds with the calibration runs. This will take a moment. Follow this procedure until the calibrations are done. Now all the calibrations that are necessary to run, Thunderbolt tests are finished. Close the dialog. Thank you for watching.